Hello and welcome to this last Dinosaur Week edition of uh, Draw Along with Dan. I'm cartoonist Dan Letha and um, we've been drawing dinosaurs all week and today is Friday as we're recording this and so we're going to draw one more dinosaur for this week and I have chosen to draw, um, for reference I have a lot of dinosaurs in my collection and one of my favorite cartoon caricature um, dinosaurs is a Triceratops made by, I think it was made by Mattel Toys uh, back in the 90s, something like that. It's, been, it's, a, it's a fairly old toy as far as that goes. And um, the craftsmanship is just fantastic. I love the caricature of this. And I mentioned it yesterday, so I thought I'd bring it out and you can see some of the stuff that I, uh, that I collect and such. But um, let's, uh, let's get drawing. So we're going to take this uh, caricature like I usually do with whatever uh, we're drawing and I trace over it to kind of break the shapes down and uh, so <clears throat> just some of the basic shapes that I'm seeing here are let's see we've got uh, oops I'm drawing on the, uh, the reference itself all right so we're going to pick on that shape there and um, and then of course you have a, a line like that that goes through for the upper jaw. The inside of the mouth is like that. Just getting those basic shapes down. Um, we've got the horn. Now this is a three-quarter angle sort of a thing, so it's not straight to the side, it's not in straight in front. And so you've got that halfway, well, something more like this. That would be kind of the center line of the face. Right there. Right there. And then, um, of course, you got the horns. And I, I think it's easier here to draw a line like that just to get the center where the horns are. And then up like that and up like that. Horns can be kind of tricky sometimes. Now, this one's busted off, so I guess we'll... We'll go with that, and then um, then that that crest frill thing in the back. You don't see all of it, but again, if you drew a center line, probably right about there. Then you've got these things coming off the back of it. Another important shape is that cheek like bone type of thing that goes there and then just a indication where the neck is I love the eyes they've got that angry cartoon brow type of thing going on the bags under the eyes lots of detail here kind of a weird nostril I have to say And it's so cartooned that the nostril and that eyebrow bump up against each other. And then the mouth um, has a lot of curls in it. And those teeth, big chompers. Um, again, exaggerated from... Uh, most... No, Triceratops... Um, after the fall, <laughs> I gotta qualify that, was a plant eater. And um, I, I get kind of perturbed at toy makers that make these models of Triceratops. And they put these big fang type teeth through, like it was a T Rex or something. And um, it just, I don't know. I think they do that because they think, oh, dinosaurs, kids like monster dinosaurs, and we've got to make it look as mean as possible, and so they put these teeth in it, and it ruins what that is. So, But in this case, the teeth are, are funny, um, and that's what they're meant to be. They're not, so um, they've exaggerated them, and I accept them in this case. I guess... All right, I think uh, I think that's our. Oh, and I got the tongue. So 
So just um, roughing stuff in, understanding the basic shapes, and I think that will help us do our drawing. Let's make the reference, the big reference, go away. And we can uh, bring up the small one. Ooh, boy, that is very small. We'll shrink this guy down. And uh, maybe we'll even exaggerate it a little bit more than is shown right here. Get some good positioning here. Juggling stuff around on real estate for these videos is always a challenge. <clears throat> All right, so let's uh, let's start drawing our uh, cartoon caricature triceratops. I started out with that that big line like or that big circle like that, and. And then there was that where the mouth is, that big line. Although I think it was like more like that. Then the inside of the mouth. And then we've got that other eyebrow over there. This one here, and let's see the horn on the nose. Again, I'm I'm exaggerating, so I'm not following exactly what I see here, but following the basic shapes that I've outlined in the let's see, right about there's the nostril. It'd be really tough. I was I was considering maybe making this guy smile because some some people might not like the uh, the angry. He looks like he's yelling or something, roaring or something like that. But um, and I suppose it could be done, but it's it's really kind of tough because this cheekbone right here makes the mouth at that point go down. And uh, it lends itself to a natural like frown type of thing. So it could be done. I'm not going to take the time to do that this morning as I'm recording this. This is pre-recorded. I try to do these live, but some days I have scheduling conflicts. So. And then that crest, that thing in the back, comes right about there. And then it, the other side is right about here. And it comes around. And yes, I've got my layers palette in the way there. But again, you guys can't usually see this unless I pre-record. Then all of a sudden, I've got palettes on my screen. So we've got most of the head here, but there's an element that I'm going to have to adjust for. <laughs> I got to do the teeth and the mouth. There we go. It's looking pretty good so far. put some guidelines in for all the, the scale work that they've put in. Got that center line there. And then we've got the, uh, I don't know what you call that area that's around the horns. That uh, it, It's kind of like this ring sort of a thing that's the base of the attach point for the horn. And 
going to be a shadow here. And now, I need to bump this guy down because he's got horns on top of his head. This horn starts right there and right about here. It goes up. And I'm going to even make them curvier than they are on the reference. This horn, which should be in front of that. And it's going to right about there. That one's busted off. So like that. And the horns are such a prominent feature, I, I usually would probably caricature those. Oops, did I? There we go. Mixing up my attach points for the edge of the horn. The horns are such a prominent feature that I would usually probably caricature those. But I've chosen to go with the uh, the horn on the nose as kind of more of a prominent feature and then um, make the, the horns up on top more chunky and contained to the uh, this area. So he still has his triceratops, tri, I mean three three-horned face. I think that's what Triceratops means. But I love the uh, the face part, so I'll make that more the focus in in this. And then um, we can move his eye. So there is our caricature of the caricature. Triceratops. Shrink that down just a little bit. And that's our, oh, come on, our main sketch uh, for this. And then we'll knock that back. And now let's go and ink that. Fun stuff. I absolutely love this guy. He sits on a shelf in my studio and I smile when I look at him. He is a lot of fun and I'm gonna start out with the uh, the horn on the nose. Again this isn't drawn exactly like I see here but made some little changes. And you got this, these lines coming out from there's like a circle here that I'm imagining, and so we're working around that shape. You get those forms correct, and it helps give dimension and life to the dinosaur. All right, and then he's got kind of that snarl wrinkles of that lip that's coming up. When I see there's a, an indication here, I kind of missed that earlier, of kind of the beak that uh, Triceratops had. So they've put some real subtle indication of that. Uh, I guess they were limited to coloring, so what what colors they used on this model, this toy. Right now the tongue line is important here, so we'll go with that. And then there's a tooth here, the bottom of the tongue. And then there's another tooth right there. 
we'll go around and draw the base of the teeth. I kind of do the same sort of thing with toes when I draw toes. There, and then the teeth on the other side. And you really can't see the base of the teeth so much there, but I'll just draw kind of an indication. All right, and then, oh, you know what? I didn't ink in the top teeth, or the sketch in the top teeth. I'm going to have to erase a little bit. I forgot about that. Maybe some of you that were watching this video are going, hey, you forgot the top teeth. So, kind of an important part here. So we'll just kind of wing it. Yep, and my ink's got in the way there, so can erase those. There, that looks better. Something was missing. And then you see the gums. some of those teeth anyway and I'm gonna just for kicks draw like the other tooth as it's rounding and going to the other side there get that skin flappy thingy that's my technical term for that that uh, thing that they put in the corner of dinosaurs mouths all right and then the nose I am going to choose to make the nose smaller. I, I don't know, that big, big nostril like that seems, I don't know, it's, it's funny, but I'm not so much into nostrils. <laughs> I think they like the big flared nostril, it's just an, another funny component, but... We'll go with a little less. I like the eyes and such better. Now this horn does have like a little attach point indicated there, so. And then um, the eyebrow ridge has these great bumps on it, so I'm gonna try to emulate that. There's other parts of this that that uh, are more bumpy too and I've chosen kind of for time's sake to not emphasize those so much but these are so important and then they come down again if you can communicate that shape the form make this not flat but more 3D-ish uh, looking that very much helps bring this to life. All right, and then oh, we'll finish the eye later. I like to avoid finishing the eyes. It's just like the, the fun finishing part. And then the broken horn can put like an other side of that horn too and then they have these lines for indicating horn texture I guess oh, the other horn for number three. Get the attach point there. Didn't sketch that in the rough so much. And then those. back of the head actually kind of goes 
from right about here back to that crest. And then to make it easier to, uh, to draw the crest, I'm going to do the, um, the attach points for that, the bony ridge things. Because that just makes it easier. And I'm just going to go around. It's, it's kind of, uh, there's a space right there, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. And then... like this pattern again that helps give form to the uh, to the crest there we go and then the bottom line of the jaw You don't see where the back of this guy is. So maybe he doesn't need that. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, I guess we got to go to the eye now. Well, okay. Before we do that. Add some horn texture to the one on the nose. that little touch just gets a, a, a little extra feel of texture all right and then the eye got those baggy parts that are, again, I find them fun. And then the pupil. Looking back instead of, I don't know, the, uh, this, the reference shows more of a middle down look, but um, I think we're gonna, just gonna stick with that. So add some shadow touches a little bit. And give a little dimension to that tongue that's in the mouth. As it's coming out, it would be lighter. But going back into the mouth, it would be darker. We can give it some tongue texture too. And then the teeth actually have a little bit of that horn texture to it too. They've put those lines on there. So we can add a little bit of a touch of that. Give the teeth some feel of bone. And then, oh, there's so much good detail here. nostrils we could do the same sort of thing and mostly this kind of curls around if I was to render this and paint it you know color it and such it would be a lot of fun and then we got a stick with the bone theme here of the texture we've got to be consistent so 
So we had just a little touch of some shadowing for some of the teeth and then these teeth in the back. Under the tongue would be shadowy too. So anywhere I can think of to put some shading just to help give it some 3D punch. Let's put some back here too as it's on the other side. Maybe some right here too. Maybe kind of a thing like this. Oh, and there'd be some shadow right here too. That real prominent eye ridge. There, I think that's that's as far as I want to take that this morning. And uh, let's Get rid of our sketch lines. Voila! Our dinosaur is now almost complete. <laughs> oh, and there would be some shadow right here too. There we go. So, sign the name. Dot com. And that brings us to a close for our Dinosaur Week. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, please share, tell your friends and family, hey, there's some free cartoon lessons online by a Christian cartoonist. And uh, there's going to be safe material here. Not, I'm not going to delve into any off-color stuff that uh, kids shouldn't be drawing. So um, please join me next time, Monday through Friday, for uh, Draw Along with Dan. Thanks for drawing along. Have a good weekend.